Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to unblock a sender on the Outlook application. So, first of all, of course, all you need to do, just go and open the Outlook application on your desktop. Of course, if you don't have it, you will need to go and download it through any browser you are currently using on your PC or your desktop. Just go and open that browser, then go to the URL section and type download Outlook, hit the first link, and you can start downloading. Of course, this will be pretty easy because it's like downloading any other application you must have or they like downloaded something in your pc so once it's downloaded you'll need to go and install it then open it on on your pc once you opened it they'll ask you to log in into your account of course if you don't have an account you'll need to go and create one at the outlook website and then come back and log in into your account once you logged in into your account you'll find yourself here with this home page or with this main screen and as we said in the beginning of the video, we would like to unblock a sender that we already blocked. Of course, if you don't know how to block like a, someone, you can just go and check one of our videos in the channel on how to block a sender or someone on the Outlook uh, browser or, or application or even websites, both. So, of course, once you are here, you would like to go to the settings. How can you do that? Simply, if you go it will be simple on your browser or your website of course if you are using the website you'll find like a top maybe right corner settings but if you are using like the application you don't have even to go to the settings all you need to do just go here at the top and click add this junk option and as you can see here you'll find block sender never block sender and a lot of other stuff all you need to do here just click add junk email option and as you can see here, you'll find the block senders. For me, I don't have anyone, but for you, if you have anyone, just go and select it. Once you select it, hit the remove option and hit the OK. And you'll be good to go. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.